Wow, it is a pretty lovely sunny day in the outdoors. And the reason I'm out here is to try out firsthand some very new technology. And this is Shane. Hey Shane. Hey Rob, how's it going? Now he's actually wearing the technology that we're about to take a look at. Any ideas what it is? Shane, I think you're going to have to tell us. Sounds good. Google Glass is a wearable technology that does everything a smartphone can do and tries to get technology out of the way. So why don't you just try them on? Sure. Okay, cool. Where did these come from? Like, why, why have they been developed? From the Google X team, which is like a moonshot thinking laboratory. So they work on projects like driverless cars and some new balloons in New Zealand as well, which are providing internet to rural communities. Okay, kind of big ideas. Now, uh, well, how do they work? How do I get them started? So they work by both voice and also by touch. So you can either touch through by tapping, swiping, or swiping down, okay, or yep. you can just speak. So say to record this, you could just say, okay, glass, take a video, and you'll be on your way. Sure, well, let's do that. Okay, glass, record a video. Hey, and we are recording. Say hello to the crew. After a quick lesson from Shane on how to operate the technology, I'm feeling pretty confident and determined to fly solo. Okay, I want to try and describe what this is like for the person wearing it. Now, for starters, I can see information from here that you can't see from out there. It sort of comes to me as sort of a floating pane of glass with the information on it. Now, the reason you can't see it from the outside is it's actually being projected into my eye, onto my retina. You also can't hear what it's telling me from the outside because it doesn't have speakers. It's actually got a transducer at the back that sends vibrations directly into my bones. It's called bone conduction technology. And that's how the sound gets to my ears. And it can also, uh, well, it can make you seem quite smart. Hey, Rob. Oh, hi there. What are you wearing? Oh, it's a... Uh, just a new accessory, really. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Cool. It's pretty warm today. It is. I wonder what the temperature is. Yeah, I wonder. Let me just have a quick think about it. Okay, glass. Google, what is today's temperature? I'd say it's 25 degrees Celsius. Wow, it is warm. Hmm. I wonder what that is in Fahrenheit. Yeah. Let me I'm just with you. Convert 25 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. It's actually 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's incredible that you knew that. Just had to think about it, sort of. Okay. Well, do you know what the capital of Venezuela is? The capital of Venezuela? Yeah. Ah, uh, let me have another think about that. What is the capital of Venezuela? I think it's Caracas. And how many people live there? Just bear with me. Okay. Hmm. What is its population? 1.9 million as of 2011. That's incredible. Mm. That's 215 times 323. What is 215 times 323? 69,445. Why are you doing this? Ah, uh, it's all up here, Sal. It's all up here. Have a good day. And while I tell you a bit more about this thing on my head, let's check out some more of the video I took, starting with a bike ride. Right, so uh, this computer contains most of the equipment of a smartphone. It's got an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a GPS, a magnetometer, fancy word for a compass, and can be used as an extension of the phone in your pocket or by itself. It can connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Perhaps it's time for a kick of the footy. Now, other important things to note, it's got a lithium polymer battery, which so far is holding up well, and many gigabytes of memory. You can even live stream what you see to other people, assuming anyone wants to watch me kick and catch. Hey Rob, how'd you find it? Ah, uh, good, yeah, yeah, really interesting. So I, I, I took some video, in fact I'm taking video right now as well. Um, answered people's questions, generally had a bit of a play. Um, yeah, I quite liked it. I did find it a little bit strange talking to myself, well, talking to Google Glass, but people thought I was talking to myself. But I guess people get used to that. What do you see the future? Where's this going to go? So there are currently 8,000 explorers around the world who are building apps called Glassware for the device. So the possibilities are endless. So it's what people make of it, I guess. Yeah. Well, the only thing left to do is thank you very much, uh, give you a tech back, and I guess uh, stop record. <laughs> huh.